In the bustling marketplace where countless businesses vie for attention, a strong product stands as the cornerstone of any successful marketing endeavor. But what exactly constitutes a product in the realm of marketing? It's more than just a physical object or service rendered. It's a comprehensive concept that encompasses the sum total of a customer's experience. This essay delves deep into the multifaceted world of product as a pivotal element of the marketing mix. We'll unravel the distinction between goods and services, explore the diverse categories of products, and emphasize the product's paramount importance in crafting a winning marketing strategy. From the tangible to the intangible, the product is the very essence of what a company offers to its target audience. It's the problem solver, the need satisfier, and the value provider. Join us as we embark on a journey to understand how a well-defined product can make all the difference in capturing the hearts and minds of consumers. Get ready to unlock the secrets of mastering the marketing mix, starting with the fundamental building block, the product. Before we can delve into the complexities of product marketing, it's crucial to establish a clear understanding of the fundamental distinction between goods and services. This foundational knowledge sets the stage for all subsequent marketing strategies and decisions. This distinction lies in the tangibility of what's being offered. Tangibility refers to the physical presence of a product, something that can be touched, seen and owned. Goods are tangible, physical entities that can be touched, seen and owned. They are items that occupy space and have a physical form. Think of a new smartphone, a stylish pair of shoes or a delicious box of chocolates. These are all examples of goods that have a physical presence and can be easily perceived through our senses. These are all products that have a physical presence and can be easily perceived through our senses. When you walk into a store, you can see, touch and even smell these products, making the experience of purchasing goods a sensory one. Services, on the other hand, are intangible offerings that lack a physical form. They cannot be touched or owned in the traditional sense. They are actions or activities performed to provide value to the customer. Services are about the experience and the benefits derived from the actions performed by the service provider. Examples of services abound in our daily lives, from the haircut you get at the salon to the financial advice you receive from your advisor. These services are essential in enhancing our quality of life and often require a high level of expertise and personal interaction. Consider the difference between buying a new shirt, which is a good, and getting your laundry done, which is a service. The shirt is a tangible item you can wear, while the laundry service is an action performed to clean your clothes. While both fulfill a need, the former involves acquiring a physical object, while the latter involves paying for an action performed on your behalf. This distinction is crucial in understanding how different marketing strategies are applied to goods and services. Understanding this fundamental distinction between goods and services is paramount in marketing. It influences how we approach various aspects of marketing, from product development to pricing strategies. It shapes how we approach product development, pricing strategies, distribution channels, and even the way we communicate the value proposition to our target customers. By recognizing the unique characteristics of goods and services, marketers can tailor their strategies to effectively meet the needs and preferences of their audience ensuring a successful marketing campaign. The world of products extends far beyond the simple dichotomy of goods and services. It encompasses a vast and intricate landscape where each product type serves a unique purpose and meets specific consumer or business needs. Within this broad spectrum, we encounter a diverse array of product categories, each with its unique characteristics and marketing considerations. These categories are not just theoretical constructs, but are evident in our daily lives and business operations. Let's delve into these categories using contemporary examples to illustrate their relevance. By examining real-world scenarios, we can better understand how these products and services fit into the larger economic ecosystem. Consumer goods, these are products purchased by end users for personal consumption. They are the items we use daily, often without giving much thought to their classification. Think of the latest gadgets, trendy fashion apparel or everyday groceries. These items are integral to our daily routines and lifestyles, reflecting our personal preferences and needs. 
Consumer goods are further classified into convenience, shopping, specialty and unsought goods based on consumer buying behaviour. Convenience goods are those we purchase frequently and with minimal effort like snacks or household items. Shopping goods require more thought and comparison, such as clothing or electronics. Specialty goods are unique and often carry a higher price tag, like luxury cars or designer handbags. Unsought goods are those we don't think about until we need them, like insurance or emergency services. Consumer services. As the name suggests, these are services aimed at fulfilling the needs of individual consumers. They are intangible, yet essential components of our daily lives. Examples include streaming services like Netflix, ride-hailing platforms like Uber, and online education platforms like Coursera. These services provide convenience, entertainment, and learning opportunities, enhancing our quality of life. Producer goods. These products cater to businesses and organizations, serving as inputs for their operations or for producing other goods and services. They are the backbone of industrial and commercial activity. Industrial machinery, raw materials and components used in manufacturing all fall under this category. These items are crucial for the production processes that drive economic growth and development. Producer services. These services are geared towards assisting businesses in their operations. They provide the expertise and support necessary for companies to thrive in a competitive market. Think of marketing agencies, accounting firms, and IT support companies. These services help businesses manage their operations, reach their target audiences, and maintain financial health. These services play a vital role in enabling businesses to function smoothly and efficiently. They ensure that companies can focus on their core activities while relying on specialized support for other essential functions. By understanding these distinct product categories, marketers can tailor their strategies to effectively reach their target audiences and address their specific needs and expectations. This knowledge allows for more targeted and effective marketing campaigns. Whether it's the latest consumer gadget or a specialized industrial component, each product category demands a nuanced approach to marketing. Recognizing the unique attributes and requirements of each category enables businesses to craft messages that resonate with their intended audience, ultimately driving success in the marketplace. The marketing mix, often referred to as the four P's, product, price, place and promotion, represents the essential tools marketers employ to influence consumer behavior and achieve business objectives. Each element plays a crucial role but the product is arguably the cornerstone of this mix. Of these four Ps, the product stands as the very foundation upon which the entire marketing edifice is built. Without a solid product, the other elements cannot function effectively. A product's role in the marketing mix is multifaceted and far-reaching. It encompasses everything from the initial concept and design to the final user experience. It's not merely about what you sell, it's about function. What does your product do? How does it perform in real-world scenarios? What problem does it solve or what need does it fulfill for the customer? Needs satisfied. What fundamental human needs or desires does your product address? Understanding this is crucial for positioning your product effectively in the market. Is it a matter of convenience, status, safety or self-expression? Each of these aspects can significantly influence consumer purchasing decisions. What sets your product apart from the competition? Identifying and emphasizing these unique features can be the key to capturing market share. What distinctive attributes make it stand out in the marketplace? Is it the design, the technology, or perhaps the user experience? What tangible and intangible benefits does your product offer to customers? These benefits can range from practical advantages to emotional satisfaction. How does it improve their lives or solve their problems? Real-life testimonials and success stories can be powerful tools in conveying this message. Unique Selling Proposition, or USP, this is the essence of what makes your product unique and desirable. It's the core reason why customers should choose your product over others. It's the compelling reason why customers should choose your product over all others available. A strong USP can be a game-changer in a competitive market. Without a well-defined product that addresses a specific need, solves a problem or fulfills a desire, 
the other elements of the marketing mix become ineffective. You can't determine the right price, distribution channels or promotional messages without a clear understanding of the product's value proposition and target audience. The product is the starting point for all marketing efforts. It defines the direction and scope of the entire marketing strategy. Therefore, investing time and resources in developing a strong product is essential for long-term success. Understanding the product lifecycle, from introduction and growth to maturity and decline, can help in planning marketing strategies that adapt to each stage. Continuous innovation and improvement are key to maintaining a product's relevance and appeal in the market. By staying attuned to customer feedback and market trends, businesses can ensure their products remain competitive and desirable. In conclusion, the product is not just one element of the marketing mix, it is the linchpin that holds the entire strategy together. A well-conceived product can drive success across all other areas of marketing, making it the most pivotal component of the marketing mix. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13